welcome back to my channel YouTube today if you can see in the background we're gonna review something that I found at Family Dollar um, it looks to be like four creatures of some sort um, that combine together I just want to point out that I find the name Double Dragon um, kind of funny I call one uh, Jimmy and Billy I believe those are the double dragon names from the 90s so we'll just see what they are but let's take a look at them they're not the greatest but eh, they're still pretty good uh, this is what I assume is the leader because he is the central character as you can see he is a two-headed dragon kind of well somewhat cheap but if you can get over that you can make him oh, into his warrior mode it's not bad detailing on the head overall it's, like I said somewhat cheap but it's not bad detailing it's sufficient. Oh, I'll just let him. Here's the next guy. He's also another two-headed dragon, but he's quadrupedic rather than bipedal. And his transformation is a little bit different. Just push these down, flip up his tail and literally just bring his feet down and break his arm off uh. Uh. Yeah, it's a little it's a little uh, cheap his arms go like that again not bad detailing but still feels a little cheap and his that kind of gets a little annoying but that's when you transform him there you go so next you're gonna get this guy who I haven't quite figured out exactly how to make him well less stable um, he's got one of the more complicated transformations you gotta pull this back up Gonna pull down his uh, chest cavity, bring out his head, connect it up, and then his arms. You can see right there. Somewhat loose. I like to push them as far back as possible. And then his feet, you gotta bring up his legs. You gotta rotate them while separating them. And then yeah, it, it gets weird because the heads flip, then you gotta flip it, and then there you go. And he comes with a weapon that looks like some kind of short gun. Suppose there's a little peg right there, the notch there that it's supposed to like. Not a gun, a short knife supposed to pop in there and there you go again it's not bad detailing there's very little posability on these guys because they're very fragile and very uh, lightweight but he can stand up pretty well on his own the next one I have to say is kind of my favorite looking one he looks like some kind of um, it says monster on the description, but I like to think of him as like a large badger-like Godzilla creature. So his transformation is not that hard. You flip up his head, bring down his um, legs, gonna rotate them. You know, he's got some really good heels and toes. There's his head, and then his arms just come down, fold out his hands. And he also comes with a weapon. Just got to make sure that 
Yep, his head comes out perfectly. That ham he has a giant hammer that you can put right there, and there you go. Again, decent um, detailing. I like the way the head looks on this guy. I really like his hammer. I wish his arms were a little bit more stable. But, yeah. Overall, I think he's the coolest looking piece. I like the coloring on it. The last one, I think, in my opinion, is the weakest looking one. It's some kind of crow, raven, pterodactyl. It says a pterosaur, but most pterosaurs do not have feathers. But it's overall not a bad looking character. So his transformation is pretty simple. You bring down his arm, rotate it, and make sure you don't pop off that ball joint. His fo wings fold up as you try to maneuver it so that his hands face downwards. Got to bring down his feet like so. Flip up his tail. Again, you got to make sure that that's you know, folded up and his shoulders tuck in. And then his head just basically tucks down. He's got a, an interesting fold. Once he's in his uh, robot mode, it's a pretty solid piece. I think his robot mode is the best one. His uh, head detailing is pretty good. Because like everything tucks in and it looks very neat in his robot mode. And he's got this uh, pick that he wields. Again, it's got the little, I don't know if you can see that, a hole right there. Let's see if we can focus it. There you go. And he's got a peg there in the hand to hold. So, well, supposed to. There you go. Now, as you can see in the detail here, it's got a um, combination mode. So we're going to make that happen. All right. So he has to have his arms up like this. As you can see there's slots here. So his arms go up. And then his feet, I don't know if you can see it, there's these little nubs right there. You gotta kind of position these like that. So we're gonna put him right there. He's all set for the combination. This is the right leg. He's got a weird kind of pose. Gotta remove the helm, um, hammer. And basically, you're going to put him kind of like this. Going to open up his um, chest cavity a little bit. As you can see, there's the mount right there. And his legs just kind of sit like this. So you want to take that and slot it there. All right. It's kind of a bit of a trick, but... Once it's there, the head kind of acts like a way to hold it. And unfortunately, it's a very loose piece. So it's not going to be 100% solid. Just make sure the feet are splayed out some more. And his... Yep. Okay, this one I had the most trouble with. So he got to take this off. And then you got to pull the head forward a little bit. You know, this comes down just a little bit. And then these, the feet, are supposed to combine together to form one solid foot. I say put these out like this so it gives it a bigger heel. And this comes down to make it look a little bit more. Bring his head forward a little bit. This is the hardest part to put in. I actually had the most difficulty because trying to figure out how to get this in. As you can see, if you push too much, it pops open. So you got to put it so it's sort of like that. And then, you know, make sure that the head rests there because that actually helps hold it. As you can see, 
He's got his two feet. Now, the problem is they're not the most stable, so you gotta kind of put him like that so that he kind of, well, fits together. Um, the left arm, which is the green guy, you just basically take his head. Now, these are going to fit in right like that. This is relatively easy. And then you just adjust the feet. As you can see, it makes it top heavy. I like putting the arms up so that it, these are like this, and then you can just make the arm look a little bit cooler. You can see that really unbalances him, so I'm going to lay him down for now. So he needs to sort of go back into bird mode. So you got to, you know, flip the head back, bring out the head, put that. But his wings, if you can prevent them from falling off, I'm going to flip up and do one of these. Ugh. You can see, he's not the greatest. Um, you know, I haven't been able to fig copy it just like the, uh, oh, yeah, see, he doesn't really want to copy what they show in the uh, picture. Shows it that the arms, you know, yeah, are supposed to go all the way back, but I've not been able to do that. So the best I can do. one of these which still looks pretty cool and then the hooks are right there they slot in that stabilizes it enough that it can actually stand on its own. Now the weapons combine together. You take that, take the hammer, plug it in there, and then you just take this, plug it like this, and it gets some kind of long pole arm that's supposed to slot in to the uh, I have not been able to figure out where to slot it. It shows it going into the uh, bird's mouth, but it doesn't want to. Oh, wait, wait. There you go. I got it in there somewhat, but there it is the Toy Amazing 5 in 1 Beast Monster, Dino Monster. Yeah, like I said, not the greatest. It was ten bucks, I believe, at um, Family Dollar. But you know, honestly, it's not bad. Kids would enjoy it for about five minutes before it falls apart. So I would say if you're gonna keep one of these, don't let the kids touch it because, well, I don't think it would survive a play with them. Or it's a cheap toy to give to your Ne nephews and nieces who like Transformers and, you know, have them enjoy it for like, all the five minutes that it'll take them before they destroy it. Anyways, peace out. Talk to you later, YouTube.